السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو آر ڈیجیٹل ٹوٹوریل پراپ ٹو سائنس ان دس پرزنٹیشن وی آر گونا ڈسکس چیپٹر ٹو کلاسیفائنگ پلانٹس اینڈ اینیمل اینڈ آر ٹاپک ول بی کلاسیفیکیشن آف اینیملس فرام پیج نمبر تھرٹی نائن ٹو پیج نمبر فورٹی نائن ان دس پرزنٹیشن وی آر گونا ڈسکس کلاسیفیکیشن آف اینیملس وچ کین بی فردر ڈیوائڈیڈ ان ٹو ٹو پارٹس واٹی بریڈس اینڈ ان واٹی بریڈس واٹی بریڈس کین بی فردر سب ڈیوائڈیڈ ایز فش برڈس ریپٹائلس میملس اینڈ ایمفیبینس آن دا ادر ہینڈ ان واٹی بریڈس کین بی سب ڈیوائڈیڈ ان ٹو ٹو گروپس اینیملس ود جوائن لیگس اینڈ وداؤٹ جوائن لیگس واٹی بریڈس آر دا کائنڈ آف اینیملس وچ ہیو بیک بونس اینڈ دے آر انکلوڈنگ میملس برڈس ایمفیبینس فشز ریپٹائلس all have a backbone in this slide we are going to discuss the animal life cycle growth development of organisms there are many groups classes of animals but all amphibians belongs to same group which shares the same features like lay eggs in water they have cold blooded and young amphibians live in water as they have breathed their gills but adults have lungs here are some examples of amphibians frogs and toads and salamanders in this slide we have discussed the characteristics of reptiles The main characteristics of reptiles are that they are cold blooded, they lay eggs, they have tough, dry skin, protected with scales and plates. Here are some examples for the reptiles. Snake and lizards, tortoise and turtles, alligator and crocodile. Now we are discussing the main features of fishes which are fishes have fins scales and gills most of the fishes lay eggs they breathe with the gills as they live in water and some examples of fishes are as below mammals mammals are warm blooded they nourished by their mothers most of them are born live however platypus lay eggs birds birds are bony back and wings they lay eggs and some of the birds can fly and some can swim some examples of birds are there now comes the invertebrates invertebrate animals can be divided into two parts animals which don't have a backbone and animals which have, which have or a joint limbs you can observe in this example now here we have a chart for arthropods arthropods are the animals which have got hard skeleton outside their body and joint legs there are some arthropods cretaceans number 1 number 2 insects number 3 arachnids or spider and number 4 centipedes and millipedes you can also learn their characteristic by following this chart now comes the invertebrates without joint legs there are some invertebrates which don't have a joint legs number 1 is molluscus and number 2 is sponges number 3 is annelids number 4 cendarians number 5 echinoderms number 6 round worms number 7 flat worms from this chart you can learn about the characteristic of each invertebrate now comes dicotomous ski there are two benefits of dicotomous ski firstly Dicotomous ski make easy to describe any organism by dividing it into two groups by just answering yes or no. And second benefit is that that beside classifying things, 
Dichotomous key can also be used to identify living things. In this slide, we have four animals and we have to classify them by using a dichotomous key. Firstly, animals can be divided into two groups, warm likes and not warm likes. No, warm like can further divide it into two groups, segmented and not segmented. While not warm like can be divided into has tentacles and has spiny skins. And finally, we can conclude which animals belongs to which group. Here is a written task and you have to do in your notebooks related to the topic which we have discussed before. Number one question is, write down the difference between the following, angiosperm and gymnosperm. Second one, vascular plants divided into plants with seeds and vascular plants without seeds. And here we have a review question number two, four and five. And there are also some hints for question five are given. I hope you all have understood the presentation very well and will make most of it. Thank you.